For his entire life, all of his disciples describe his canon of prayer. So his spiritual rule. And his spiritual rule was consistent from the day he became a monk to the day he died. Didn't change. Unwavered. Each midnight, for example, one of the accounts we have from when he was in Old Cairo. So this is about, we're talking here about 1947 to about 1959. So the decade before he became patriarch. He would wake up at night at 2 a.m. to prepare the Orban. Then he'd go pray to Zbeha, pray maddens, liturgy, to the early, early, early hours of the morning. So finishing, say, 6 a.m. Then he would go and all these students had begun to gather around him. And so he would then go and attend to the needs of these students that had come living with him. Eventually, he'd break his fast about 2.30 in the afternoon, and then he'd work, clean, etc., serve the students, until Vespers in the evening. And then, in that period where he was working or he was around in the day, he would always say, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to do work. I've got to do work. And his work was prayer. So this was his canon that happened every day. Now, for anyone that has ever tried to wake up at an early morning and do it every single day of your life, it's impossible. It really is torture. And that's the known part of his prayer. What else was happening in the cell, we don't know. It was unknown, hidden. Pope Shenouda, who was again one of his disciples, so in about 1948 to 1951, was living with him. He said this, because I cannot remember that he ever left that place at all except to have surgery. At one point in 1955, he was pranked as Beha and he went up to the upper room. And when he went there, the disciples followed him and said, what's wrong? And they found him bowled over. And he said, I don't feel well, I need to go to the hospital. And so they took him to the hospital. He had a ruptured appendix. And so when he was under anesthetic, the whole time he was under anesthetic, you know, when, have you ever seen someone who's under anesthetic? You can sometimes say some crazy stuff. A bit of morphine going, right? The anesthetic's getting to the brain. You can say some crazy stuff, right? He was chanting the Psalms, chanting Tazbeha, and chanting liturgy. The entire time he was under. His prayer life, his spiritual, whether he's in the desert, whether he's in the city, whether he's uh, conscious, whether he's unconscious, he's praying. His prayer rule is constant.